I will drill this in your brain if I must, but there is a limited time event going on. Regardless of Bright Dust or Silver, if there's something you want to buy, get on it now because there is a very good chance that if you don't get it now, you won't be good be able to get it again until next year. And even then, there's a chance that you might not be able to get it again because if you wait for Bright Dust, then you won't be able to get it. Because there's just a really good chance that it won't come around. On that note, it is time to see what is available in the Eververse store for Bright Dust this Festival of Lost Week 2. On the front page, we have Reanimated Verve, which is a shader from a few years ago, which just kind of gives you a dead sort of color palette. I guess it looks a bit Scarecrow-ish, but at the same time, not too complicated. Then we also have Angel's Gleam, which looks like it's just going to be another Guardian Game shader, which it pretty much turns out to be a Guardian Game shader when you look at it. So if this is just a missed shader for event or just mislabeled who knows then we also have reanimated entrance which is you pop if which now that i think of it it's supposed to be like a mummy zombie look but it's more of a strand entrance than anything then we also have the retrograde tour which is from last year which is a scooby-doo mystery van style ship in case you want to look like you were solving mysteries all throughout the year and then we also have the Lunar Roar, which is from a few years ago with the Werewolf Hunter set, which if you wanted a emote to go along with it, there you go if you want to embrace your full werewolf. And then into the full store, we have for shaders, Base Salt Toxic, which is something that looks pretty cool. It's a nice black and green with hints of a weird teal blue, which if it was just the black and green, I would wear it all day. The teal does throw it off a little bit, but I still like it. Then we also have Melkadexic Bramble, which I think I say it different every time, which is another silver and purple blackish look, which still is a pretty good combination, even if it is hard to say. And we also have Chrome Stock from Season of the Drifter, which is basically just a straight up chrome look for, well, it's actually a lot less straight. But it looks a little bit better on weapons, if I recall. It just looks straight up chrome. And then a new one, which is Nougat Delight for Season of, or Festival of the Lost. Which, um, again, another one of those many shaders that only has really one thing match. Because that is present on the variety, but there is no green. And the only orange I can see is on weapons. So this might be one that's more intended for weapons anyway. But then we get into Transmats, we have Arachnophile, which is Festival of the Lost, in case you want to look a little spidery. And then we also have, once again, the reanimated entrance, which is already present on the front page. And another personal favorite, which I mentioned last week, the Batwing entrance, if you want to or cosplay as your favorite Taken King. And then into our main ticket items, we have the Gourd Summoner, a animated a moat from last year, which is basically you just dancing with a bunch of pumpkins the entire time. I, I forget if this is an SNL reference. I want to say it's the Tom Hanks, David S. Pumpkins one, but I forget entirely. But then it pretty much just ends there. Then we also have the No Escape emote from last year, which is one of the greatest emotes of all time, just because it's you running in place. And then we also have the Spinneret Shell. Once again, Arachnid Warning, in case you are an Arachnophobe, because it is a bit creepy. Just, it's really well done. But at the same time, just a bit creepy. Then we also have the extraterrestrial vehicle, in case you wanted to look like a straight-up just UFO flying through space. Which I just noticed the wheels spinning around the outside for its weird discus thing. Then we also have the Stygian Steed, a sparrow, which looks honestly just straight-up awesome. To the point where once sparrows are all the same size, or same speed, I might actually run this permanently. And then we also have the Promethean Prelude for the Grand Overture, which is a basic Frankenstein look for the Arc Lightning Machine Gun. But at the same time, I kind of just used the base version over this anyway. It's really hard to kind of vote for it when the base almost just looks better. And then lastly, as always, we have the Pump King Projection, which is just another ghost projection. And with that, I will also spiel my spiel. Anything in the Bright Dust store, you have a week to get for Bright Dust for free. If you can't get it then, you'll probably end up buying silver. And if you don't want to buy it for silver, guess what? You won't have the chance to even get it for Bright Dust until next year, which even then, there's a chance that it won't ever be for sale for Bright Dust that year either. So, if you want something, scrounge up the materials to get it now. With that, my name is Matt Scorpion. I will see you in the next video.